Menu options have changed. To reach the sheriff's office, press 1. To reach the jail, press 2. If you are a friendly caller, press 3. If you need to reach an on-duty dispatcher, press 4. Or remain on the line. Huh. Uh... A friendly call? Uh-huh. Hi. Hi, Paige. Um, this is uh, Rose Director calling. I was just wondering, is... Am I allowed to report someone slandering me and then call the cops to complain and have you go arrest those people? I mean, you can make a report about it if you'd like. Okay. But is it something I can ask you to, um, like, go arrest them? Or is it something that, is it no. a civil case? Is it, a, like, I file a claim that again? Would be, that would end up being civil, yeah. A slander? That's something that they would arrest someone for. Right. So is is slander really something I can report? Or is it, would you guys say, look, that's a civil case, you know, go file a claim with your local... Go file a lawsuit, yeah. Uh, that's what... That's what they would say. Um, you'd have to get a lawyer and go through the lawsuit process on that. Right. So I can't just call you guys and say, hey, someone's on their YouTube channel saying mean things about me. Could you go arrest them or knock on their... I mean, you very well could tell us and we can make a report, but it would be that you would just talk to a deputy or an officer and they'd say the same thing. Right. Like civil and you'd have to go to court. You can't... I mean, if someone called in and was like, you need to go arrest someone, we, don't, we obviously don't do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you the gr grounds for arrest are um, it, it, is showing up to court is not showing up to court grounds for arrest. It depends. It, it all really just depends on what like what they're going for and the severity of things and if it's criminal versus civil and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so is not showing up to court considered a crime from your perspective or from the local police force perspective again it just depends okay so would somebody have to tell you to arrest that person for you guys an official would have to say i mean it's this it's very confusing i mean i i don't so like say say you went and did a crime you got charged with that crime and then you had to go to court for the sick crime mm -hmm. and you didn't show up for court mm -hmm. and it was actually a criminal law that you violated mm -hmm. or you're being charged with and you didn't show up to court they could put out a warrant for your arrest for failure to appear. Mm -hmm. When it gets to something civil, though, it's a little bit more different and complicated than that. Like a restraining order? Is that considered a civil case or is that a criminal thing? That's more criminal. I mean, if somebody files a, a, re a restraining order against somebody and they don't, and the person doesn't show to court, is that grounds for a warrant? I'm sorry, one more time. On sure, that no problem. So if, if someone files... Um, uh, a claim, if somebody files t to get a, a um, protection order uh, against yeah, someone. So if, and if the... someone, say I was getting a protection order against you, mm -hmm. um, I filed for that, and the, the court would, or um, if they found it to be, I'm trying to think of a good, good wording for this, if they found it viable, uh, they would, and they granted me a temporary protection order or protection from abuse, protection from harassment. There's different kinds. Mm -hmm. But say all of them are still under the same realm. So say I got granted the temporary. It only starts with the temporary um, for the most part. Mm -hmm. Then you'd have a court date mm -hmm. if I'm doing it against you. You'd have a court date. Once the paperwork was served to you, it would explain everything. It would show my my issues and what I wrote down mm -hmm. as um, proof as to why I need this protection order and it would give a court date and that would be when you need to show up and contest that. Say you didn't show up, you wouldn't get arrested and there wouldn't be a warrant for your arrest. However, I would get granted the protection order permanently because you didn't show up. Like I wouldn't have to go through a whole process of why I want a permanent one. You would automatically get one? Sense. So you would autom it would be granted. Okay, so if I unless the court found that there wasn't um, enough enough uh, grounds to do so. Okay, so if you got so if I didn't show, and the court thought I had done something that bad, and you got granted a full time a full year long protection order, 
I'm, but there's not going to be an, a warrant for out for my arrest. It's just that if I violate the order, then there would be an, an arrest. Is that right? Or Correct for the protection order. Right. So I'm not going to get arrested for not showing up to that court date, though. I don't. There won't be a warrant. You, were you served with like a protection order paperwork? No, no, I wasn't. Well, I well I was. I was by um two years ago. Um, okay, but then she didn't show up. I did, and she didn't. Gotcha. And twice. I was served twice, so she didn't show up. So I was just kind of wondering about that when it comes to, what about a civil case? Say that um, in family law. One second. Sure. Of course. Go ahead, sorry. So say uh, for like family law, which is family law is civil, right? Correct. So yep. if I, um, if there was a family law case and I didn't show up because I was sick or whatever my reasons were, is that, is that, a warrantable arresting type thing, not showing up to a family law case? I do not believe so. Um, however, that is something I would ask the courts directly. It, yeah, because it could be... Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with it personally. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't risk it. Mm -hmm. I would just call them and, and talk with them and make sure that that's something that can be done. Um, just in case, just to cover your bases, because you wouldn't want that to turn into something worse. Um, what, you know what I mean? Well, what, like, I would just call the courts and I would say, this is the paperwork I have. This is the court date I have. If I don't show to this, is that something that I can have a warrant out for my arrest for? Oh, call them directly and ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, um, when it gets to the civil stuff like that, it mm -hmm. shouldn't be like that, but mm -hmm. I literally I give you an answer. And, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just in case. Right. Things develop, things change, especially in the courts. So, yeah. Um, that's something I would just call them directly for. Right. Okay. But in general, civil... Uh, civil is different than criminal, correct. But a protection order is a criminal thing? It, it, yeah, because it, it usually stems from something that's criminal, whether it was someone trespassing, harassing you, things like that. So the you person who files it, who say, say you filed against me, and then you're like, eh, she didn't really do anything wrong. I'm not going to show. You don't get in trouble for that, or do you get in trouble for that for putting? Because no. I mean, you waste the course time. Yeah. You know, usually I got... it, it, it usually it would just either like dissolve or. Okay, okay, because um, somebody was accusing me of slandering them, which I wasn't, yeah. and they're like, "We're calling the cops on you if you don't stop talking. If you don't stop, you know." I was like, "I mean, like I told you, if they call the cops, that's just gonna be they're gonna be told the same thing." Okay. Not civil. That's something that needs to be talked right. about in court versus um, a criminal matter, depending on what they say. Right. If they say, oh, this person's harassing me, not slandering, but if they're harassing me, mm -hmm. then you might get a phone call from a deputy asking you to stop, or you might get a harassment notice or a trespass notice, which isn't court paperwork. That comes from the law enforcement agency itself. Um, okay. Uh... So you might call me if someone was like, she's slandering me. She's, she's complaining about me on my, on her channel right now. She's live complaining about me. You guys are, aren't, are you going to come listen or do you, are you going to call me or, you know, if, if somebody. Usually they try to reach out to the other party. Yes. The party that is being accused of slander. Um, yeah. So they'll speak with the person that's making the complaint and then they will usually try to make contact with the other person. Mm hmm but usually they end up saying it, this is a crim this is a civil matter and it needs to depending on what's said yes so if it's like a physical threat or mm -hmm. i'm going to murder you you know or yep. if it's threatening harassment anything like that it's not just someone's talking bad about me online right kind of thing right yes cuz the situation so with this is, go on this is all like it's all it's all gray area it's not mm -hmm. ever black and white so mm -hmm. With the court stuff, I would talk to the courts directly, especially on appearing for court or not, for civil or criminal things. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of a phone call being made to us, people aren't quick to just sit there and arrest someone on something. They're just, it depends on how it's worded. It's, it I mean, my complaint, my complaint was, um, 
the town, not not this town, but my the other town was was um, is charging me double for a sewer fee, and I'm upset about it, like anybody would be. And I was saying, I feel like I'm being ripped off. I feel that this is unfair. I feel extorted from, ram, you know, blah blah. No, no personal attacks, but all I, you know, I'm upset about this. I feel like I'm being robbed. I feel bullied. This is what's going on, and I'm talking about it because these are town officials, and this is public, and this is something that's affecting everybody. So I'm ranting like that. And they're like, if you, you're down, you're mean, mean to us. We're going to call the cops on you. I'm like, yeah, again, it just, it just kind of depends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. I will uh, try to figure out more details about this because slander is weird. And as far as I'm concerned, it's civil. But, but these people that said that, they threatened me. Oh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Is it, are you allowed to threaten people using cops because you have an in with the cops? Because um, I did have that happen, and somebody said, oh, that's illegal. You're not allowed to threaten somebody with, with, with local cops. Like, oh, I'm, I have, I'm in with these guys. These are my buddies, so they're going to get you. Is that, how is that viewed? I don't, I don't know that that's necessarily illegal, but I, I, I don't know, Yeah. to be honest. Mm-hmm. You could tell anyone that it could be a lie, it could be true. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just it's I all it's all verbal stuff. So mm -hmm. it's crazy. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you uh, answering my questions. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I'll call you back if I need any more help. Okay. All right. Thanks, Paige. Talk to you later. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. She's nice.